Hey everyone, Stella Bell here. Today we're going to go over how to mint your art on Zora using the base chain. And then you're going to list it in DGen. And when you do all of those things and you copy and paste the link, it automatically appears as a frame in Warpcast. So you're going to go ahead and log in with your crypto wallet on Zora. And you're going to hit the button create, that little plus sign. Now you need to create a new collection. At least that's how I learn how to do it. Because, you know, the DGen token right now is on base. So you need to create a new collection. And when it says right there, network, you need to choose base. And then I selected the cover art for the collection. All right, the next step is we're going to select a token there. And of course, we want DGen. So this is a part where I think people get lost because you have to put the DGen token contract in there. So what I did was go to the official DGen tips website, click on the base scan, and then I copy the contract in, the, in there. And then I pasted that in there. And there we are, DGen. I will paste the contract address in this article so you can have that ready to go. After you get your DGen there, you then you select a price. Um, I put a thousand and no one bought it, so I think maybe the next one I'll put ten. So after after I did all that stuff, the technical stuff, um, then I uploaded my artwork. Laugh now, but one day we'll be in charge with the uh, blood of Sotheby's in the background. Anyway, okay, so now we're all set. That's really all there is to it. And you hit create. And it's going to create the correct um, the collection on base. And, and that will mint your artwork as well. I was just checking out all of these other things. I chose open edition and unlimited. I just did like the standard default. It just seemed easier to do. Of course, after you wait a few minutes, it should be ready. And that's all there is to it. And then this is the best part. You only, you all you have to do is copy and paste your Zora link. And magic, your frame appears when you cast it in Farcaster. So here it is. I'm using the Warpcast app. I just copied and pasted it. And there it is. And there's a mint button. This is the innovation that I love about Warpcast. You just click on it. It takes you exactly right there. And then you hit mint. And you can do it all on your smartphone. Yeah.